Hey guys, welcome back. Today, let's continue to talk about the Chinese input method, and this is the second part. The first one is the pinyin and the zhuyin input method. Because basic education was popularized in the society, more and more people can learn how to read words in school from their childhood, and the pinyin education and the zhuyin education both are the most foremost way to teach children knowing the Chinese characters. Meanwhile, notice the pinyin and zhuyin also are the most common tools of reading and learning the pronunciation of the Chinese characters for almost every person, not only children, but adults. So, for most people, the transformation between the pinyin or zhuyin and the characters have become a kind of intuition. So, under this mind, indeed, the pinyin input method and the zhuyin input method have been the most popular input methods that are used in the Chinese language world. Now, the first one which I'm going to share with you guys is the pinyin input method. Mainly, its users are from mainland China. For me, this is the most familiar input method, but technically, this is not my input method used usually. Technically, the input method that I'm using is the double pinyin input method. This is a variant of the pinyin input method. So, in order to distinguish the pinyin shu ru fa and the shuang pin shu ru fa, pinyin shu ru fa also is called quan pin shu ru fa, the full pinyin input method. By the way, the Japanese language also has its own double pinyin input method, but technically, it is a kind of double lo ma ji. Input method. The difference of the full pinyin and the double pinyin is that in the double pinyin, we only use the two codes. The first code is sheng mu, and the second code is yun mu, the type of character. So now let's try to use both input method to type some words. And this time, I'm going to use as a phrase as the example in the video. First of all, let's use the full pinyin input method. The pinyin of zhong wen shu ru fa is. 中中，文文，书书，入入，发发。Not very hard, right? Then we also can input it quicker. Okay, now. It's a double pinyin time. In order to present the double pinyin input method, I made two pictures. We can try to type characters with the double pinyin. Still, in this example, we must remember the input rule. First code is sheng mu, and the second code is yun mu. Okay, now let's try it. Zhong is V S. Wen is W F. Shu is U U. Ru is R U Fa is F A. Okay, now we finish it. If we type word by word quickly, it will look like this: V S W F U U R U F A. Okay, now let's try another word: Xie Han Zi. Is Han Yu Pinyin is Xie Xie Huan Han Zi Zi. So according to the picture, we can input x x h g z i. Okay, now we got this. It's not very complex, right? But it's just the help to remember the code position on the keyboard and the inputting rules. So if you guys remember the intro of the last video, yep, that's right. At that time, I used the double pinyin input method. The next is the zhuyin input method. Mainly, its users are from Taiwan. In fact, this is the same way as the pinyin input method. But when we see the zhuyin full list, it's totally different from the pinyin alphabet. So, is this really the same? Actually, the answer is yes. It's the same. It's like this list. We can see the one-to-one correspondence between the zhuyin full and the pinyin. It's kind of like the kana and the romaji in Japanese. Okay, now let's try to use this input method. 
still is the same example, but this time I typed traditional characters. After all, this input method is from Taiwan, so the traditional Chinese is the default setting. Firstly, transform the characters to the Zhu Yin Fu Hao in our mind, just like this. Zhong, Wen, Shu, Zhu, Fa. Same logic is pinyin input method, right? After talking about the pinyin and the zhu yin input method, now this time, let's say a kind of old school input method based on the pinyin input method from the federal phone area in mainland China. That is the Nike input method. Its Chinese name is Jiu Jian Shu Ru Fa, or just coded the Jiu Gong Ge Jian Pan, or just uh, so, it is from the feature phone era, and nowadays, smartphones have almost replaced all the old cell phones. As a kind of very popular keyboard on feature phones, and meanwhile, it has bigger buttons than the normal keyboard buttons on the smartphone screen. So, until now, many people actually would like to use this old cell keyboard. And in the feature phone era of Taiwan, the Zhu Yin input method also was modified to that 12 key keyboard from the computer keyboard. But unfortunately, the Google keyboard of my phone likely doesn't have this efficient keyboard. So, today in the video, I have to share with you guys only this Pinyin Nike input method. Okay, still, it's just example. Actually, it's very easy. We just need to, according to the pinyin of the characters, and later painting on the keyboard, press the red button, just like the Zhong. Its button is 94664. Then, Wen is 936. Shu is 748. Ru is 78. Fa is 3, 2. Okay, let's do it more fluidly. Input this word by word. Okay, now we finished it. If you can adapt the keyboard layout of the double pin input method, you can even change the setting and use the double pin in on this Nike keyboard. Okay, this is a part 2 video of the Chinese input method. In the next video, part 3, let's talk about some input methods of the stroke category, which are very different from today's pinyin kinds of input method. So, Thank you.